Are you thinking about moving away from San Jose? Moving away from Silicon Valley? What about Portland, Oregon? Is that on your list? Well, today I'm going to talk to a realtor in Portland, Oregon, and we're going to get some info for you. Stick around. So here we are, Claire Paris. Thank you so much for joining me and helping some people in the Bay Area who might be thinking about moving to Portland, Oregon. It's my pleasure, Annie. Yep, it's um, Claire Paris from Paris Group Realty in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Yay, well why don't we just start off with tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've lived there and all of that. So I came up here for college um, 27 years ago. <laughs> Not to date myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, so I've been here a long time and I've been in the industry now 18 years. Um, we own a small boutique firm. Um, it's me, my mom, and my sister. Um, we Love have it. 12 agents with us right now. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That's so great. So, you definitely know the Portland area. I um, do. All the nooks and crannies. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what the, what's going on in the real estate market, I guess. Um, yeah, for sure. We don't have much inventory, just like you guys right now. Um, and our prices are definitely increasing, but our um, the, our starting point is much lower than yours. <laughs> right. So our median home price right now is $481,000, and our average days on market is 38 Wow. So, okay. So you know, it's not it's not terrible. I don't know what are you, what is your days on market right now? Well, it depends, but around twenty ish, depending on yeah. what city, and I would say on average around twenty. I mean, here it's like if a house is remodeled, fantastic location, you know, great floor plan, they fly off the shelves within days still. Um, but if there's any little like it's a little needs updating, those can sit a little bit longer, like two to three weeks. Um, but they're still moving. Um, so for that, you know, so say for around 500,000, that's getting someone a three bedroom, two bath house there. Okay. Yeah, usually three and sometimes one and a half because our housing stock is actually, um, all pretty old. So most of our housing was built before like 1940. Oh. So oftentimes they didn't have an extra bath. So that's usually an upgrade. Oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. If you get further out, um, so the suburbs like Happy Valley, Clackamas, Oregon City, they're going to have um, newer housing, Beaverton, um, but a lot of the central city area doesn't have much new construction. Okay, so the central city area is right around downtown Portland. We're talking 10, 15 minutes. And then yep. let's say you go out to like Beaverton, those places, we're looking 30 minutes, yep. probably depending on traffic, of, of course. Yep. <laughs> Depending on traffic, if it's Friday afternoon, it's going to be a little bit longer. Got it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's about 30 minutes any direction you go. So would you say the pricing of houses for, say, like a three or four bedroom, kind of like your typical family, well, let's just go with three bedroom, two bath. Maybe if they're closer to town, it's one, one and a half bath. Are the prices more as you're closer to town or they are? Okay, so being close to downtown, you're going to pay a little bit more. So if you want to go out for that four bedroom, two bath, that's maybe a little bit newer, built after 1940, you, what, you, what would that kind of average price be? Would that be? Well, you can, I mean, there's some gorgeous new construction that are upwards of six, seven hundred thousand dollars. But I mean, you can get a really nice brand new home, three bed, two bath um, for right around 500. Wow. Okay. I and mean, of course we know prices will go up the more amenities and nicer, but yep. that's still good nice to know. Finishes. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay. So let's say someone from the Bay area is going to move. They've been living in, you know, a typical 15, 1600 square foot, 50 year old home. Maybe it's updated, maybe it's not. And they're going to be able to sell it for 1.3 here, 1.4. Um, they could go up there and probably buy something amazing for seven or 800,000, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, so definitely. that's huge. Yeah, amazing. So I just had a client um, move from the Bay Area. They were renting there um, and they could move their job because they're um, in tech. And so they were given the green light to, um, 
I guess they're they're saying indefinitely they can work remotely. Yeah. And so they are um, buying a seven hundred and twenty thousand dollar house. It's four bedrooms, three bath, almost three thousand square feet, oh, and wow. seven thirty. So, wow. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a great deal. And what about if someone wants a little bit more land? A lot of people are tired of being cooped up. Let's say they want a few acres or more. Um, what's yeah, that? so I have another client who was working at, or she still is working at Apple, and she um, she was competing down there trying to find a home, and she couldn't. Um, and so we came, she came up here, and we bought her a farm. <laughs> she's she's got bees and alpacas and she's got I think it's 15 acres if I remember correctly wow. the house is like dialed it's not like a crappy farmhouse it's just like a beautifully modern remodeled home um, with a shop and a three car garage and Whoa. it was 1.4 1.4 Oh my gosh, that's like incredible. How fun. And so let's say how far is that house to like downtown Portland area? Yeah, she's like 30 minutes away. Oh gosh, so she's not like hours out of the city. Interesting. No, not at all. Um, not at all. And the thing that's kind of cool too, I mean, your property taxes are probably a little crazy um, with our, because Oregon's mostly an agricultural or was originally an agricultural state. She's getting a really good deal on property taxes too, because she's got a farm. Oh, wow. So you get a discount if it's still someone agriculture. Oh, I didn't even know that. I try and, uh, you know, at the end of this, I always do a breakdown for people of like taxes and, pro and property sales, you know, cost of living, all those things. I also do a little bit about weather. So I would not probably have found that. So that's good. Now people will know. Um, and then I actually have also heard some people talking about wanting to be able to go to the beach, you know, go to the coast. Um, what's all that about? Yeah, for How sure. How far is that? So, um, from the central city, it's probably the absolute worst is two hours to get to the Oregon coast. And we have like a bunch of adorable little towns dotting the coast from like Astoria all the way down to Lincoln City, and they're all uh, lined up on the ocean. Um, <laughs> And it just kind of depends on what flavor you like. You know, that I have a house in Manzanita, which is this tiny little community, um, sleepy bedroom community. Um, so yeah, I actually own and um, have a house on the coast. So I'm totally happy to help people buy there too, if they're interested. Oh my gosh, they might be able to you know, sell a house here and buy a house near Portland and a beach house for less than they buy. Yeah, and you can help with both. I love it. That makes it so much easier. I mean, that's one of the things I've definitely helped clients move out of state and I know a lot of realtors and you being one of them that it's so great when we can work together because it just takes that pressure well my realtor at that and said this and I don't know what they meant I'm like when I do it we become a team and we can talk to title lenders real, we're all in it together to take the pressure off which I just love so, yeah I totally I, I love collaboration yeah, <laughs> so great um and so then what about the airport? Is it really close to Portland? It's just right there. So that kind of yeah, travel happens. time all is the same. Yeah, exactly. So. My Apple client, she needed to be within 20 minutes of the airport because she had to be able to get to San Francisco if she needed to. So yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody watching, I will have all Claire's contact information below. I know you also have a relocation guide that we'll have access to. So reach out to either one of us that way. And, um, oh, that's the one thing I did want to touch on the weather. How is it like, you know, I, I went to Portland 20 years ago and it was beautiful and sunny. So is it as rainy or what's the story with that? It's a bit rainier than California to be <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm looking out the window at an absolutely beautiful fall day. Um, but we usually have some serious rain from like eh, October through sometimes March, April. <laughs> So, of course, I myself go down to California for a weekend or two to get my fair share. A little, a little vacay in the sun. <laughs> but we do. So we have um, High Desert, which is east of here, and that's probably like a three-hour drive. So you can go for the weekend and have a little ski vacation and hang out in the sunshine and get a little reboot. So. Yeah. Oh, that's another good thing. So many people here love Tahoe and Bear Valley for skiing. So you have skiing there as well? Yep. Yep, yep. So Mount Hood is just 45 minutes away from the central city, um, and there that's a little bit like hard, like more more expert skiing. Oh, I would say. Not for me. <laughs> and, then, 
bachelor is just like the real nice powder and dry and sunny and kind of like Colorado ski. So yeah, for sure. And how far is that one? That one's about three hours. That one's three hours. The other one's 45 minutes. So you have options. That's great. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Claire, thank you so much. I love all this info. And um, again, all Claire's contact is below. And I appreciate you taking this time. And my hopefully pleasure. we'll be talking soon with, about a client. <laughs> Sounds great, Andy. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, see you later, Claire. Bye. Bye. So here's a breakdown of taxes, pr home price, temperatures, you want a copy of this slide go to my website under resources and it'll automatically be sent to you don't forget to go to my website to the resources tab lots of great information there for free and uh, never hesitate to reach out if you have any questions and until next time have a great one